Magandang araw mga kaibigan. Uh, gusto kong magbigay ng reaksyon sa proposal ng PBBM administration na ang uh, magkakaroon ng plebisito sabay sa 2025 midterm elections. So, ano ang masasabi ko nito? Ano ang masasabi nyo? Uh, panoorin muna natin, pakinggan ang mga pahayag mismo ni PBB at ibang mga lawmakers tungkol nito. Then after that, magbigay tayo ng ating mga reactions. Philippine President Marcos Jr. admits he wants to synchronize the country's midterm polls with a plebiscite on constitutional amendments. He believes this would save on costs, but at least one lawmaker says this may be problematic. RG Cruz has tonight's top story. Before flying to Australia, President Ferdinand Marcos Jr. maintained it is more practical for a plebiscite on a new charter to coincide with the 2025 midterm elections. The Commission on Elections has commented that this move would not have any bearing on their ongoing preparations, only that the ballots will be longer. Mm. Pinag-aaralan talaga namin yun dahil kung paghihiwalay natin yung eleksyon at saka yung plebiscite, parang dalawang eleksyon yun eh. Napakamahal. So baka, pa, baka maari kung isabay natin yung plebisito sa, sa local elections na gagawin sa Mayo na next year. The President said he will talk to Speaker Martin Romualdez about this. Some congressmen had been vocal that the plebiscite be held before the polls to insulate it from politics. It's very hard also to have a plebiscite before the election kasi mabubulilyaso yung preparation para sa, sa halalan. A House leader sees a path for the President to get his wish and still comply with the constitutional requirement for a new draft to be subjected to a plebiscite no earlier than 60 days but no later than 90 days after a new draft is ready. Assuming for the sake of argument that uh, we are able uh, ano lang to, wishful thinking lang to, that we are able to approve the, this by, before the Lenten season. The matter of uh, both of ha houses of Congress I, I'm referring to, the matter of submission for plebiscite to the COMELEC, i-adjust na lang to, 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 ano, to, to, to be within that period. Senator Sunny Angara believes the proposal is doable. Palagay ko may oras. It's only March. Eh, maraming buwan bago mag-October. So, uh, maraming oportunidad para planchahin yung mga detal. Senate President Juan Miguel Zubiri echoes the Commission on Elections pronouncement that it may save 13 billion pesos if the plebiscite and the elections are held simultaneously. But at least one lawmaker expresses concern with this timeline. Danao del Sur Representative Zia Alonto Adyong fears such a move could politicize the issue with candidates possibly using charter change as part of their platforms. Still, he says the House is sticking to its March deadline of finalizing proposed amendments to the economic provisions of the charter. My personal take on this is that uh, once we subject that to uh, subject that to a, the referendum uh, in 2025, probably, Probably it it may create more uh, pro more problems and more delays because come once we resume session in July, uh, the president will be delivering his sona. Uh, Congress, both houses, the Senate and the House of Representatives, will be busy tackling the national expenditure program, the budget for 2025, and I, there won't be simply enough time for us to sit down and discuss the merits uh, of the uh, of this proposal i am I'm, I'm looking at probably have is to have this done in in within the year maybe last quarter of this year why not uh, if we can do it within the year uh, why wait until 2025 on tuesday night deputy majority leader neptali gonzalez the second maintained that the house will not submit a draft of the comlec without the senate's nod gonzalez also disputed criticisms that Congress will have too much power and be exposed to lobby money if it gets the power to regulate foreign investments. Unless otherwise provided by law is, Mr. Speaker, it centralizes a lot of power unto Congress, Mr. Chair, to, to, to amend the Constitution. Congress will be buffeted by intense lobbying and lobby money from transnational corporations and many interests, Mr. Speaker, Mr. Chair, 
to to have their benef beneficial provision in the constitution. Nanakot lang yan eh. Para nakakot that we will be exposed to uh, if you give the power to legislative power to the Congress to to change the proportion of ownership as provided for by the masa subject daw kami sa ano sa sa mga alam mo na mga maglalabi sa akin pananakot lang yan eh Former Supreme Court Senior Associate Justice Antonio Carpio for his part wants to introduce conditions to prevent possible abuse or influence from lobbying Then I propose that the amendments should read as follows and I quote unless otherwise provided by law subject to reciprocity and two-thirds vote of all the members of the Senate and of the House of Representatives. During the House's Chacha hearing Wednesday, Colmenares warned that giving foreign investors more access to public utilities may not be good for public service and national security. Carpio, meantime, believes it's more appropriate to just allow foreign investors to invest in colleges and graduate schools. R.G. Cruz, ABS-CBN News. Okay, so ayan, klaro na, uh, may proposal na, na kasi kung masusunod yung People's Initiative o Charter Change na sinimulan ng uh, kamera, eh gagastos tayo ng malaki para tanungin ang taong bayan ano ang ating desisyon, ano ang ating pasya kung babaguhin ba natin ang ating 1987 Constitution. Eh magastos talaga yon, Ilang billions of pesos ang gagastusin. Ako, pabor ako na isabay ang plebisito at ang midterm election kasi nga para makasave tayo ng pera, yung pera na gagastusin separate na referendum o plebisito, itulong na lang sa mga nangangailangan. Provided, uh, ito lang ang tanong, ano ang, anong mga tanong na ibabato sa atin? Mag-focus lang ba ang tanong sa economic provisions o baka isabay na nila doon yung plinaplano nila sa People's Initiative na mag-change? ng parliamentary from presidential to parliamentary. Iyon ang ano? Iyon ang malaking question mark. Kasi, uh, yung 1987 Constitution, talaga naman may mga provision, provisions doon, economic provisions na questionable, na dapat once in for all, matuldukan na kung dapat bang ilif yung tanggalin na yung mga restriction lalo na yung foreign ownership of land foreign ownership of educational institution maraming mga ano doon eh may mga uh, restriction na sinasabi ng iba na yun daw ang dahilan bakit hindi tayo umuunlad kailang malaking debate yan so ang ginagawa ngayon Uh, tinatakil na sa Senado yung ano ba ito uh, resolution number 7 joint resolution something like that kaya nandoon nag-attend yung mga mga lawmakers yung mga former uh, constitutionalists supreme court justices kaya tinatalakay so maganda ito yung pinag-uusapan ba yung wala talagang itinatago para kong ano ang kondon ano ang uh, magiging resulta sa sa hearings na ginagawa ng Senado uh, kung ano yung uh, mga recommendation o amendments ibabato sa atin taong bayan magplebisito ay eh, di maganda uh, isabay na sa midterm election that's a nice move in fairness tama yon Uh, sana matuloy na ito at sana to me this is a good development na lumalabas na hindi na nila itutuloy yung change uh, system of government from presidential to 
parliamentary kasi yun man lang ang inaangalan ng taong bayan lalo na yung kampo ni PRRD oh itong Cebu Prayer Rally yun lang sabi niya na he's not against PRRD is not against charter chains ah uh, ako rin hindi ako against Wag lang idaan sa yung sistema na sinimulan nila, yung People's Initiative na may halong pa pandaraya ba yun o panluloko, pang uh, pagsasamantala sa mga kapuspalad nating kapatid na pinangakuan ng ayuda in exchange sa perma. Hindi naman ipinaliwanag ano yung pinipirmahan, yun ang masama. So, sana once and for all, ito na ang uh, tuldok ng political uh, debate na nagdi-divide sa atin. Okay? So, mag-focus lang tayo talaga sa economic provisions, mga restriction kung dapat tanggalin na yung mga restriction na yan, yung mga foreign uh, ownership, eh, ibato nyo na sa taong bayan. mag plebisito na. And natutuwa naman ako na Wow, okay, magkakaroon na ng eleksyon sa 2025. Kasi ang purpose ng uh, People's Initiative ay wala ng eleksyon ngayong 2025. Eh, masama yon. O kung magkakaroon ng eleksyon ng 2025, ibig sabihin, magkakaroon na rin ng eleksyon sa 2028. Ayan, patas ng laban. Kalimutan nyo na lang yung mga ambisyoso diyan na gustong mag-prime minister. Huwag muna. Later on na lang yun. Ah... Uh, Election muna tayo at matira ang matibay. Uh, 2025, 2020, tignan natin sino ang may dating sa taong bayan.